Hey boys, it's Harm None. Today we're going to be customizing the Hydra in Grand Theft Auto Online and of course most of this video is going to be doing the review on the Hydra. Now, if you guys didn't know you can actually change one thing on the Hydra. What you're going to need to do is obviously own a Hydra, call Pegasus and go and pick up your vehicle then you're going to need to own a hangar with a vehicle workshop. Uh, and then what you can simply do is just fly into the hangar like you guys can see me doing right here. And it will say an aircraft must be removed from the hangar to store your current aircraft, or you might not have to do that depending on how many aircrafts you own inside of your hangar. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and do this right now. And as you guys can see, we are entering into the hangar. So if you guys were ever wondering how people got uh, different colored hydras and things like that, uh, this is in fact how it happens. So we've uh, we've managed to get into the hangar now. I think that I'm going to have to replace. Uh, what am I going to have to replace? Let's see. Honestly, I think I'm going to have to replace the Nakoda because I don't really like that plane anyways. So let's go ahead and just do that. This Pegasus aircraft has been converted to a personal aircraft. Now, I just want to let you guys know as well, uh, you can have as many Pegasus uh, versions of the Hydra as you want to. Uh, for example, you guys can see that I've got a Hydra over here, but I've also, wait a second, where is it? Hang on. Okay, so I, I actually couldn't place it there because there's not enough room. So we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to send the Annihilator Stealth into storage. Uh, and here you guys can see, uh, we've got the Hydra in here now. So we have two of them. So like I said, uh, you can do this as many times as you want, as long as, you know, storage and space permits it. Uh, if you wanted to have a hangar full of Hydras, you can do that. Um, meaning that you can of course you know keep calling hydras uh through your uh, through your interaction menu through the vehicles menu there um through your hangar so that is kind of cool uh, you just need to buy one hydra and then you can turn that one hydra into uh, many different hydras if you so choose so anyways we're gonna hop inside of the hydra right now and uh, we're gonna go ahead and modify the aircraft and as you guys can see we have a whopping two options here one of them is to get this thing out of uh out of the hangar and the other option is to change the primary color. Uh, now, I did change my crew color recently. We could go with the crew color. Um, I have gone for a red Hydra in the past. As you guys can see, the Hydra back there is red. Um, it does look really cool in like a shadow silver, actually. That looks really neat. Um, we're going to have to scroll through here and just see what we actually want to go with. Obviously, these are all metallic options, so we don't have to go metallic. Um, in fact, I think that we probably will end up going for something other than metallic uh, because I don't know. I feel like the metallic kind of looks weird on, on like a fighter jet like this. So um, let's actually go into just the classic colors. Um, I feel like these look a little better kind of i don't know we might end up we might end up having to go with like a matte color um, i think it does look really cool in like a brown um that's pretty neat actually let's let's go ahead and just check under the matte category here and see maybe we want to go like desert tan honestly a desert tan looks really sick um at the same time the only thing that i'm maybe wondering about is going for like something like a diamond blue uh something that would be a little bit camouflaged with um you know with the sky obviously the hydra is going to be flying around so you know diamond blue it's like a good match of like in between the clouds and the sky itself so I think we're gonna go diamond blue for this Hydra. Um, if not, maybe we go. Maybe we go for that. Uh, what was it? Shadow silver. I think it was shadow silver. Or no, it was bluish steel, wasn't it? The one that looked really, really cool. You know what? It does actually look really good in black too. Maybe we go black. I know that's a little more boring, but I feel like it does look cool. And at nighttime, that'll work really well. So, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and uh, exit the aircraft workshop, and we're gonna fly this Hydra out of the hangar, and uh, we're gonna do a little bit of a review on the Hydra. So there's a, a few important things to know about the Hydra. It has an explosive auto cannon. It has the exact same uh, the exact same front uh, machine gun or front cannon as the laser, uh, which of course you can steal from the military base. As you guys can see right here, there's one, uh, you know, right there. Uh, they have the exact same uh, you know, cannon, which is pretty good. Um, it is one of the uh, one of the best cannons in the game. It's regarded as the best cannon in the game. Um, it's very effective against uh, against armored targets and especially against unarmored targets. Obviously, now, the Hydra is a unique plane because it is the only plane in the game. Uh, actually, technically, no, not the only plane, but it is one of the only planes in the game that has a VTOL mode. Now, technically, the Avenger as well as I believe the Tula have a vertical takeoff um, 
capability, but it's not quite the same as the Hydra's. The Hydra is a jet and both of those are propeller driven. So the Hydra is a little bit different and it's kind of a little bit better in my opinion because it, uh, it pretty much instantaneously will go up and down. Whereas with the Avenger or the Tula, uh, you're gonna have to wait quite a while for the, uh, for the vehicles to actually start moving. So that is something that is kind of important to know. Now you can also switch it to regular jet mode and this is what is gonna make the Hydra one of the fastest planes in the entire game. Uh, when you do the uh, speed glitch that the Hydra has, it becomes the fastest plane in the entire game. How you're gonna do that is basically spamming in between the um, hover mode and the uh, regular flying mode. Um, I haven't done it in quite some time, so I honestly, I'm not gonna be able to show you guys how to do it. Uh, it's also a lot harder on, on PC from what I hear, um, especially in comparison to consoles. So those are my excuses at least. Now, without doing the speed glitch, the Hydra is a top 10 fastest plane in Grand Theft Auto Online. Uh, depending on how high up you are, uh, the plane will go at a uh, at a different uh, you know air traveling speed. Uh, so basically the higher you get the plane, the faster the plane is going to be. So that is something that is pretty important to know. Uh, for the Hydra, I recommend staying pretty high up in the air because unfortunately this plane has absolutely no armor. Uh, it can take like one explosive round um, and the second explosive round will kill it from like a heavy sniper mark II. Uh, it can only take, it can technically take two homing missiles, but after the first one hits you, you're pretty much gonna be immobilized every single time and your plane is gonna come crashing down to the ground. Uh, so technically, it, I guess it does have a little bit of armor. You're just not gonna really survive for much longer after the initial hit. So that is something to keep in mind. Uh, the Hydra when I'm recording this video is on sale and now is certainly the best time to get the Hydra. I think this is the cheapest I've ever seen at $2.25 million. Uh, uh, I think for the plane that you get, that is a very fair price. I think it's a very reasonable price. Even the Hydra coming in at three million dollars is still a very reasonable price for the amount of uh, the amount of armament and utility that this plane will provide you with in Grand Theft Auto Online. It really is a fantastic plane. It's my favorite plane in the entire game, and uh, there's so many things that it can do. And we haven't even uh, finished talking about it either. This thing also comes equipped by default with homing missiles. Now, unfortunately, these are not fully spammable there is a bit of a uh, a bit of a cooldown between when you can shoot your rockets uh, but it's not too too long so that is good it also has non homing missiles as well so if you uh, if you're not trying to lock onto someone if you're just trying to you know shoot a missile at them um, you know without fear of uh, locking onto let's say the police or anything like that um, that's when uh, these these non homing missiles are going to come in uh, pretty handy i would say the hydra is very very useful i would say overall because for missions especially um i remember back in the day when i used to grind a mission called trash talk you'd have to go and take out a bunch of garbage trucks and then you'd have to end up at this uh sort of staging area for this uh, garbage company or whatever and VTOL mode comes in super super useful for this because obviously you can hover and you can get this auto cannon exactly where it needs to be pointing to just be able to shred everything uh, that gets in your way. The Hydra is also super super useful for criminal damage and other modes like that. Um, it's very good against players. The only thing is with the Hydra that does kind of suck is in a dogfight this thing will lose to most of the other planes in the game uh, especially the ones that came with the smugglers run update just because it doesn't quite have the mover maneuverability that uh, some of those other planes have. It definitely has the fire power so if you can manage to just get a lucky shot uh, or if they make a mistake and they fly you know obviously in front of you when you're shooting the auto cannon they're definitely going to die but if they catch you uh, because of the hydra's kind of lack of armor and like i said um, lack of maneuverability i would say um, they definitely do have a, a pretty big advantage on you luckily with the hydra though something that i think is a very underrated feature of this plane um, obviously with the vtol mode you can hide out and wait for people um, say if you're in a dogfight and you're within the city, what you can do is use the buildings as cover by uh, turning this thing into VTOL mode and getting behind them and just hovering with VTOL mode, waiting for them to fly past you and then you can catch them lacking and uh, you know start shooting at them as they're flying away from you, get homing missiles on them too potentially. So I would say if you know how to use the Hydra, it is very good. I 
I do think though, generally, um, unless you are, you know, the best pilot in the world, you're probably gonna get outdone by uh, by some of the other planes in Grand Theft Auto Online when it comes to dogfighting. So that is the Hydra's one weakness, I would say, is its dogfighting abilities. This thing is not super great for that. It's just good at everything else. So. Uh, for the majority of players in Grand Theft Auto Online, I think that the Hydra is a very useful vehicle to have. It's definitely one that I would recommend you pick up. Um, I absolutely love the Hydra. I've had one since, I believe, 2015 when the Heists update came out, which is when this thing was released. And uh, I've used my Hydra probably more than any other aircraft in the entire game. So anyway, guys, that is pretty much it for the Hydra. You should 100% pick this thing up while it is on sale. If you guys are watching this in the future, even at regular price, you should pick it up no matter what. But especially when it's on sale, definitely that is the time to purchase the Hydra. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much it for the Hydra customization and review, if you can count that as customization leave a like if you enjoyed this video or if you learned something dislike if you didn't of course subscribe to my channel if you guys are new and i will see you all in the next video until then take care peace